We wanted a really aspirational scheme that could potentially sort of set a landmark and spread out across Norwich. So we ran a REBA competition. About 105 practices actually bid for it and they were right across the world. So we had some from Japan, Holland, and what won it was the recreation of the terrace streets. And so that's why Mikhail Richards came to actually win the scheme. So we were inspired by the Golden Triangle and area of Norwich just over the road. Quite dense, um, but very popular much loved. Like the Golden Triangle, the streets here are 14 metres wide and the backs are 14 metres. There were some concerns perhaps about traffic going through, so that was all built into the design to slow traffic down. You can make fabulous places by looking at the landscaping in between. What it does is it really enhances the scheme and linking it through to existing properties as well. I love the brickwork. It's just lovely. Plants, trees, paths, it's all set out really nicely. Even the materials, a lot of people say walking down the street it's like being in Holland. And we thought of the flats at the end of the terraces as kind of large houses which just happen to have flats in. We wanted people to have some of their own space, so whether it be a garden or in one of those fabulous flats, they've got balconies. Well it's just lovely, I can have friends around, cook food, uh, want to see a bit of life going on, there's a bit of nature as well. We said those three-storey block of flats, could we do it with no communal area so everyone has their own front entrance? Whether they be in a flat or a house, every resident has their own front door which is unique to them, it's their own colour even. Four out of five of the habitable rooms in a two-bedroom house face south. The front gardens are designed intentionally to be quite livable. People doing different things in their gardens, children out playing, I mean it's just absolutely fantastic and it's what we'd hoped for. You quite often go over that bit and play, don't you? Yeah, on I go, the green I and go that. over on the green, take these two over. I play out very safe. Village dead in the middle of everything, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice rare area in general. Yeah, okay. Oh, here comes the other ones. <laughs> All the houses, as well as having back gardens, also have access to a kind of shared ginnel. And that ginnel is intentionally thought of as a place for small children to meet. I'm a painter and decorator. I mainly miscoated pretty much every single property here. I've been in everyone's house. <laughs> That's Navaya, our little girl. She's free. She's living the dream. It's lovely. We come out here near enough every evening. All the kids play up and down all the time. Scooters, bikes. We've had water fights out here, haven't we? Yeah, it's lovely. Um, it feels like you're on holiday. It's lovely when you come out here and you see the children playing up the back alleys, knowing that they're really safe because of the, the gated areas. We spoke to a lot more people out the back here through their kids playing out here and our little girl playing out here. And having a nice house, it's nice to make it look nice as well. And getting one, you want to look after it well, so. Yeah. All the houses have a really lovely timber staircase, timber handrail, which leads you up to a super large landing, which is big enough for a study area or even a spare bed. It's nice because if one of us is bathing her and the other one can just sit on the sofa, it's just nice that you've got that area to do that with as well. The original scheme was a soul again scheme and we said, well that kind of works for Passive House, could you just make it Passive House, yeah. you know, just a, a sort of an easy thing for yeah. them to yeah. do. But they really embraced it as well. We brought on side um, Warm, who are our Passive House designers and actually the real collaborative process to actually make this happen. Well, we're treble glazed and we've got air heating, which is superb. They're always warm when you walk in, even when you haven't got the heating on. Should cut down on a lot of your heating costs throughout the year. It's just been confirmed to us that this is the biggest passive house social housing development in the UK. So um, let's, you know, we've got a lot to be proud of. We procured the architects under a traditional contract. We're being paid to ensure that not only is everything drawn correctly and specified correctly, but actually we have an opportunity to make sure it happens on site, which is very unusual now. They kept full control over instructions and costs and elements of the design that were sacrosanct to all of us. The building work and the architectural design, I do like it. It is modern. Yeah, it's modern, very modern. 
Overall costs are around £220 a square foot. Construction costs is around £185 a square foot. But when we speak to local authorities from London, they can't do anything for less than £300, £350 a square foot. Some local authorities in the north, they're thinking, ooh, that's a bit expensive. So it's really interesting when you speak to different people. It feels amazing to come back here after designing this in 2008 originally built beautifully, people living in it happily. One of the big lessons is local authorities can do it. Mm. If you give them the freedoms and flexibilities to do it, they will actually deliver. And if government wants to deliver 300,000 homes a year, local authorities have got to be a key part of that yeah. development. There's no reason why this can't be emulated elsewhere around the country. Yeah, I think I'd so. like to be here forever now. I'd like to think we would be. I think I will, I don't say die here, but yeah. <laughs> yes, I think I'll be here for a very long while actually. It's such a lovely place. Already there's such a sense of community, which is what we'd hoped for. Absolutely. You know, good quality housing for all. It's just exciting and we're all very proud of it. There should be more of these about. It makes the world a happy place, doesn't yeah. it?